Welcome to the PA Raspberry Pi Awards 2023. I am here outside 22 Bishopsgate in central London and inside of there teams have gathered from around the UK and they're making final adjustments to their inventions. So I think we should go and meet them. I can see the teams there, they're making their final adjustments. And in these awards, we've got four different age categories. So we've got years four to six, years seven to nine, years 10 and 11, and years 12 to 13. So let's go and talk to some of the teams. Here we have Team Debugs from Arthur Mello's Village College and let's go and meet them because um, I am guessing uh, that your project involves a rocket, um, but how does the Raspberry Pi come into this? So our Raspberry Pi measures um, the pressure, acceleration, humidity and like gyroscope as well as a few other things of when the uh, after the um, rocket is launched to see how effective the rocket is. Absolutely brilliant. Basically, we're trying to optimise the positioning of solar panels by measuring light intensities on different angles throughout the day to then determine what angle would give you the most energy throughout a day to position your solar panel at. That is brilliant. All 24 finalist teams are just gathering in there for the welcome speech. So let's go and join them. For me, it's important for three reasons. Firstly, it encourages STEM skill development within our school system. Secondly, this year's event is looking at accelerating energy transition, which is a key issue for us in the battle against uh, climate control. And thirdly, for us at PA, our purpose is, a, is about bringing ingenuity to life to lead to a positive human future. And this is an excellent example of that. The Raspberry Pi event is amazing. It's so important that we engage the next generation of young people coming through in the power of technology and also how much fun technology can be because we've got so many big challenges to solve in the world. I mean, they're looking at energy transition today, but there are health challenges, there's sustainability, there's so many different things we need to solve. And technology plays a massive role. We need everybody to come in and be passionate about this. So I'm here with the King Edwards Junior School and your team name is Raspberry Renewables. And so what is your project? What does it involve? Um, so we've used um, a Raspberry Pi and a touchscreen to display to make a shower timer, which tells you when to do shampoo and conditioner and um, when to do your body gel. And we've also integrated a karaoke system to it and you can compete with your family by um, setting the lowest time in the shower. So we decided that the best way to accelerate the transition to green energy would be to make electric cars more accessible to people. Um, the biggest problem with them is that range. They lack range and they lack to an extent efficiency. And so what we've tried to do is, is we've invented a solution to wisely charge electric cars, both while stationary and while moving, and also have improved guidance systems by making them autonomous. What is it that you have come up with and how does it work? So the main aim of our program is to optimize the placement of EV chargers within the UK and we do this by using a machine learning algorithm and we put it on the Pi so it can be used in different contexts, different countries. There's, there's about two or three big examples jumped out at me. So there were solutions as to how people optimize their use of intermittent generation like PV for domestic appliance. 
At the other end of the spectrum, there were people looking at fuel poverty issues, which is so topical with the current uh, cost of living crisis as well. The possibilities are endless. Uh, to take such a small, tiny device and be able to do so many different things with it. Um, that the students have the capability to take it and build things with it is amazing. Hello and welcome to the 11th PA Raspberry Pi Competition Awards 2023. Yay! The Innovation Prize goes to the Raspberry Renewables from King Edward Students. And the winner of the Inspiration Award goes to the Light Pie from Steeple Bumstead Primary School. So the winner is Francis Holland School with Remy. <laughs> Congratulations to Church's College and Slaylicious. So the winner of the Innovation Award is Solar, the Liverpool Blue Coats. And the next award, so the Inspiration Award, again, a, a very difficult choice for us to make, high quality projects for us to assess. Uh, but this award actually goes to a school who are unable to be here today, unfortunately. And that goes to Wasted Water at Stonelaw High School in Scotland. Let's give them a round of applause. Basically. Innovation Award. That will go to Hydro Heat. Where are Smart Pingu? And so what would you say to people that are thinking of entering this competition? I would say do it, you know, no matter what equipment you have, no matter how, you know, we were so, like I said, we were so, like, we weren't confident at all, we were doubting ourselves, we were scared we were going to miss deadlines, things like that, like, but we, we pushed through and look, we're here now, the winners. I want to thank you for coming today and being part of this incredible competition. You should be really, really proud of all that you have achieved. So I hope you leave with a massive smile on your face. I know I'm going to, so I just want to say, Thank you and a massive well done.